going on people of the internet and we got Will with us today and we're taking out the trash I don't have trash pickup my stepbrother runs a trash pickup service and I don't even have that so I have to take my own trash off I should probably call him and have him bring me a can um, But, I've got the back seat full of trash, the trunk full of trash, and we are going to go to the trash dump, and then we are going to pick up the cataphract. Yep, big American cars are taking over. Nah, not really, but they are getting a good, good shot going on. They already on. know who's getting it. Yeah, they know. Ooh. Yep, so we'll be welcoming to the YouTube channel family. Uh, the replacement for the piece of junk Mazda 6, the Cadillac DeVille. So, first the trash dump. So we've made it to the rendezvous point, and on the way here we stopped and picked up a water pump, thermostat, and the brake booster piece that we needed. And here's the field of dreams going on. What? No, it's not. It's fine. I looked at it the other day. Shut up. You're nitpicking a five hundred seventy-five dollar car. It's fine. It's not. It's fine. Look at the tire. Is the tire worn to piss? No. I believe you. I looked at it. I told you. This is it, guys. The five hundred seventy-five dollar Cadillac Deville. Out of all these cars in here, we came home with the Cadillac. Why the hell else would you go home with anything else? This has the optional fucking, where the hell is the damn thing? Oh, it's the one over here. All right, so hold on a second. Let's set this down over here. You gotta find something to prop it up with. We used something from here last time. I don't remember what. We were in the Corolla. There's a piece of wood sticking out of the hood of that Nissan up there. Uh, 4.9 liter. This is not the North Star. It's just the regular 4.9 V8. Uh, with PG, PFI, so I guess program fuel injection, something like that. And it's a little dirty, but the leather's in good shape. All the interior's here. And check this out. 96,000 miles on the clock. And that's all. What? Oh. So, we're going to throw a battery in it and everything, and I'll catch you again in just a minute. Alright, so I got me a tripod now. Uh, that's still not going to fix the wind noise, but it will fix the shakiness. I was weed eating earlier and my arms are weak. <laughs> so I was a little shaky after this. So. What? Take them off, they're not tight. Just the hell they are. Fill it full of water. Alright. You're rolling.
Beautiful. Let this run for a minute. We're going to push this Cadillac out of the way and be moving. This wheel needs a lower control arm. I don't know if you can tell or not, that wheel's pushed in. Like it's tilted inward. I think that's something we can correct though. Pretty simple. This one's pretty straight, that one's pretty straight. This door's dinged up. But it's a 520 so I had a leg to build. And I think we'll, uh, Put some nice wheels on it and lower it a little bit and said 90,000 original miles automatic AC no radio we got to grab a radio clean it up really well you know typical old car stuff Other than this wheel being cockeyed to hell, which said, I'm assuming if I have to guess, that's a control arm issue. See, now it's turned inward. It'll be a control arm deal, which, you know, it could be some smack in a curve. Could they be when they yanked it on a trailer? You never know. We'll get it straightened out. Get this bad boy on the road. They're writing up the paperwork now. About to vagabond falcon this thing home doing a RCR type deal. Gonna rock this thing home and then start working. So to the house. Alright, and we are home free. Now in case you can't tell that thing is driving well crooked. But we're pretty sure that's because we're pretty sure that's because the back left control arm is bent, and we're gonna have to replace it. So, because uh, the other wheel is straight, it's just this one back left inside wheel is cocked over all funny. So I figure if we get it replaced, the control arm and everything, it'll be straight, it'll be fine. So. I can smell the antifreeze though, the water pump is leaking on that car. But it's a project. And so homebound we go. Yeah, Ranger? Yeah. We're filming. We're filming. Uh oh. What you think, Will Well? Cataphract. Well, it needs a couple things, but uh, I'll be damned if I'm not gonna take it. This is also added to our fleet of cars that are going to import Alliance. We are going in big American boats what to we, an... What we, 525? Huh? What we, 525? 525 for this lovely piece of automobile that's puking its guts out of water. I'm about to fill it slam full again and hopefully it'll have enough in there to make it home without spewing a... Right Do you? Yeah. Common things I looked up were TPS sensors, so... It's gotta be that or probably oxygen sensors, some stupid crap. Yeah, we'll run it on the scan tool and see what it says. I mean, those cats are getting cut off. Some little things. And How's it drive? Like a fucking drive. No, it drives fine, but you can you can feel the rear end shimmy a little bit because of it's that. It's that bar in there. See, look, guys, I'll film it so Will can see. No, oh, I saw it. Come on, auto light, right there. There's a bar right there, and it's bent. It's like a trailing arm or idler arm. Well, we're not kidding. <laughs> oh yeah, the brakes are weak on it. We got to get the master cylinder on there. Maybe the booster too. Yeah. Well, but uh, cataphract. It stops and it goes. Now it um it drives pretty good, but uh the rear end shimmies because that would rot. It probably could use a front end alignment. I'm probably gonna use set of tires for it. And a bag. 
All right, guys, cataphrag. We're taking this baby home. We'll catch him when we're at the house. <laughs>